Welcome to day five, guys. Today's a short one, but it's about uh, becoming fearless. <sighs> Fear's a liar. <laughs> Fear is a liar. There's no need to succumb to it, and that's what today's all about. So let's get into it. Here's day five, becoming fearless. Fear ran my life, mostly the fear of man. I cared so much about what others thought that I had extreme anxiety. That anxiety wasn't just from fear, but also a blood sugar imbalance in my bloodstream. Fear was literally paralyzing. I would dry heave, have anxiety attacks, and create unrealistic scenarios in my mind. I wanted to be a yes man, and that created a chameleon within me. Everyone had to like me and be my friend for me to feel okay. This went on for all of my adult life until my 30s. I finally went through the pain of facing my own sin and then also realizing that everyone has something they struggle with. That understanding created a freedom within my soul. Freedom because I realized that I wasn't alone. The fear slowly melted away as I heard others' struggles and I began to open up about my own. Fear is a liar and it could be an entity as well. After all, the Bible in verse in the verse in 2 Timothy says, For God hath not given us, given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. That's 2 Timothy 1 7. So could it be that fear is a spirit? If that's true, then we can have control over it. We are to fear one thing person, and that is Yahweh God. The words fear not are said 365 times in the Bible. That's one for every day of the year. Coincidence? I think not. So here's the task for day five. Write down 10 things that you fear. Then write down 10 Bible verses that speak to those fears. Look up verses that say fear not or do not fear. And pray through these fears and repent of the fear. It's not of God. And repentance, forgiveness, and courage must replace it. That's day five. We'll see you at day six, guys.